Hello, it's Scott here, and uh, I know my uh, Kerbal Space Program videos have been uh, catching some new attention since the game has been discovered. It's finally gone out of the donation phase, and uh, apparently the next version will be pay only. But the most common thing I get asked is how I get all those custom parts. So I'm going to give you a quick uh, example of how to install custom parts in Kerbal Space Program. So first thing to know is where you've installed Kerbal Space Program. I just usually drop it in a directory in my in a random folder. Um, inside it, there is a parts folder, which contains a list of all the parts in little directories. And they have a configuration file and a model and all that. So custom, uh, custom parts go in there. So you can go to the Kerbal Space Program uh, website and there's tons of threads where people are showing off all their new bits and pieces. Um, not all of these have been updated. Uh, some of them only work with older versions of Spake Kerbal Space Program and the models look all red, the textures look all red. But uh, there's a nice wiki page that lists everything here. So I'm going to pick a, a very simple one. And this one is interesting because it has a parts and a ships directory. So you can start out with the parts and all you do is you drop those into the parts folder. And that's us. They turn up in here. I can start the game. And the game will load. Now, people in the past have been installing parts. And then the first thing they do is complain that the game has hung at the loading screen. One of the nice things with uh, 0.13 is the progress bar now tells you what it's loading. So not only can you see that it's doing stuff, you can also see if something is breaking it. So yeah, start the game. Go to the vehicle assembly building, and my pieces are here. Look, I can build myself a TARDIS. Let's put the fuel tank, uh, sorry, the interdimensional uh, doorway interface on there. And let's put the special SAS module on top, also known as a light. And launch this sucker. Here we go. This thing just flies like anything else but it has its own sound effect. There we go, classic Doctor Who. You unfortunately can't travel in time with this. Well, you can travel in time, but only forwards. Uh, and uh, you can't change the speed at which you travel in time. But it has plenty of fuel, so you can travel almost anywhere in space, should you so desire. And with that, I shall leave you. Fly safe.